It's been said that humanity knows more about the stars than it does about the Earth beneath our very feet. So, what if we dug a hole all the way through the Earth and out the other side? For the first foot down we go, we're moving through the topsoil, which has the highest concentration of organic matter and microorganisms. Six feet under, we've arrived at the standard western grave depth. In 1665, London officials issued a pamphlet they hoped would help stop an outbreak of the plague. It included a section on burial of the dead, insisting all the graves shall be at least six feet deep. At 15 feet, we reach the Neolithic pits of Stonehenge, dug by prehistoric people with tools made of stone, wood, and bone. These mysterious ancient pits have no clearly understood purpose. At 25 feet underground, we find ourselves inside the deepest part of the largest known intercontinental ant megacolony on Earth, containing millions of interconnected nests swarming with billions of ants, all linked through underground passages stretching 3,700 miles from northern Italy all the way to the Atlantic coast of Spain. Just a foot further, at 26 feet below the surface, we reach the home of the Mole Man, William Little of London. It looks like your standard dilapidated house up top, but underneath the house, using just a shovel, Little created a not-so-little network of tunnels spanning in all directions, some up to 59 feet in length. One even linked up with the famous London Underground, when asked by journalists why, Little said, I'm just a man who loves to dig. At 39 feet, we find the deepest burrow of another animal who loves to dig, the Nile crocodile. At 50 feet, we hit solid bedrock. The Earth's crust is the outermost layer of the planet, the cooled and hardened part that ranges in depth from 3 to 44 miles. This layer makes up only 1% of the entire volume of Earth. At 60 feet, we've arrived at Beijing's underground city, directly below China's capital, constructed in the 1970s by Chairman Mao in anticipation of nuclear war with Russia. This glorified bomb shelter has factories, calligraphy schools, hair salons, karaoke bars, even a mushroom farm. City walls and towers that once circled ancient Beijing were torn down and repurposed to create the city, which is currently home to 1 million residents. 66 feet beneath Paris, 200 maze-like miles of tunnels contain over 6 million deceased Parisians. They used to reside in above-ground cemeteries, where they were so overcrowded that a torrid period of rain in the 1700s caused a cemetery wall to collapse, spilling rotten corpses into the neighborhood and ruining business for local perfume shops. The bodies were then moved down into former limestone quarries, what is today the famous catacombs. 196 feet down, we plunge into the deepest swimming pool in the world, Deep Dive Dubai. In order to construct this water world, workers built pools within pools. After the first chamber was excavated and lined with concrete, it provided the launch point for the next, each chamber becoming progressively smaller, culminating in a narrow dive shaft. Complete with a post-apocalyptic themed sunken city, the pool holds 14 million liters of water, the equivalent of six Olympic-sized swimming pools. Due to the incredible amount of pressure when the pool is filled with water, the shaft is reinforced with a further 5 feet of concrete. Native to the Kalahari Desert, which averages only 2 inches of rain per year, the shepherd's tree has the deepest documented roots in the world. Probing the earth, they push through the bedrock, looking for water and nutrients at 230 feet below the surface. This incredible root system was discovered accidentally by people drilling groundwater wells in 2017. 279 feet, another accidental discovery. A man renovating his basement in Turkey in 1963 knocked out a wall and discovered a tunnel leading to a huge underground complex. Built in 2000 BC, the city of Derinkuyu was carved out of the soft, eroded volcanic stones in the area to protect persecuted groups from invaders. A whopping 18 levels, it sheltered up to 20,000 people, with all the amenities an ancient Cappadocian might need – wine and oil presses, stables for livestock, chapels, dungeons, and uncomfortable-looking stone chairs. 377 feet below sea level is one of the most amazing engineering feats of the 20th century, the Channel Tunnel. Cutting through the thick layer of chalk at the bottom of the English Channel with giant boring machines, the massive tunnel was built to connect the UK and France. The hardest part of construction was making sure that the British side and the French side of the tunnel actually lined up in the middle. On December 1st, 1990, one British worker and one French worker met halfway through to shake hands. At 508 feet, we're in the deepest hotel room in the world, inside of a former Swedish silver mine. It took 10 years for miners to carve it out, using a method where they set fires against the rock face to heat the stone, 
then douse the rock with water, fracturing it by thermal shock. In this tiny hotel suite, you'll have no cell service, and the temperature of the surrounding tunnels sits at a constant chilly 35 degrees Fahrenheit. 722 feet down, we plunge into the deepest river in the world, the Congo in Africa, carrying 1.25 million cubic feet of water. Scientists first discovered just how deep the Congo was when they spotted pale, blind fish that appeared only at the river's surface when dying. It turned out that these fish live near the bottom, where it is so deep that light doesn't penetrate. Accidentally swimming into one of the strong underwater currents, water jets would rapidly launch them to the surface hundreds of feet above, where they died of the bends. At 1,286 feet, we arrive at the deepest hole ever dug by hand, or shovel rather. The Woodingdean water well in England was dug back in 1862, with workers going at it 24 hours a day using candlelight. When it got too hot inside the claustrophobic four-foot circle, they even went without clothes. Winchmen stood on tiny platforms cut into the side of the shaft, passing soil up and bricks down, and at least one man plunged to his death. 1,476 feet, we arrive at the world's first, and only, permanent repository for spent nuclear waste. Their disposal system consists of a tightly sealed iron-copper canister, a bentonite buffer enclosing the canister, a tunnel backfilling material made of swellable clay, and the surrounding bedrock. Like the pyramids, it was built to last for a really long time, 100,000 years. To get a sense of how long that is, 100,000 years ago, Homo erectus was taking their last stand on the island of Java, and the earth was in an ice age. At 1,978 feet down, we are in the deepest natural vertical drop inside of a cave, Vertoglavica Cave in Slovenia. If you jump down this hole, you would be starting higher up than falling from the top of the One World Trade Center in New York it would take you over 11 seconds before hitting the bottom. 2,296 feet is where the Chilean miners were trapped for 69 days back in 2010. To survive their ordeal, they rationed their emergency supplies into one meal a day of two cookies and a spoonful of tuna fish, and drank water drained from industrial waste containers. They made it out alive thanks to a SRAM T-130 top head drill, which drilled continuously for 33 days. 3,800 feet is the deepest bat colony in the world that houses 1,000 little brown bats who spend every winter in a zinc mine in New York. 5,315 feet down is the depth of the deepest lake on Earth, Lake Baikal in Russia. Not only is it extremely deep, it's expanding at a rate of 2 centimeters every year, the same speed at which Africa and South America are drifting apart. At this speed, some scientists believe Lake Baikal is actually an ocean in the making. The deepest underground concert was held at 6,213 feet at Vales Creighton Mine in Ontario, Canada in 2020. The boys covered Neil Young and Johnny Cash, and even played an original song they wrote for the event called Creighton Deep. The deepest laboratory in the world is the Jinping Underground Laboratory in China, buried 8,200 feet underground. The lab scientists study dark matter which requires protection from background radiation and cosmic rays from space above ground. At 10,439 feet is the Moab Kotsang mineshaft in South Africa, which is the deepest hole in the entire world that you could fall into. If you fell into it from the top, it would take you 25 seconds to hit the bottom, long enough to listen to parachutes by Coldplay. The mine contains the deepest known terrestrial animal on Earth, a 3mm devil worm with no eyes, who survives on almost no oxygen. Roundworms are so resilient that when the space shuttle Columbia tragically disintegrated upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere in 2003, roundworms in a canister on the shuttle's wings were the only survivors. At 13,000 feet, we've come to one of our strangest discoveries yet. A river under a river. Flowing deep beneath the Amazon is an even wider subterranean river called the Hamza. It moves at only a fraction of the speed of its above-ground counterpart, and is one of many subterranean rivers in the world but 13,123 feet down is the deepest part of the deepest mine on Earth, also located in South Africa, Impane Gold Mine. The trip from the surface down to the bottom takes over an hour to complete and involves transfers between multiple high-speed elevators. The temperature of the rocks at the bottom can reach a sweltering 150 degrees Fahrenheit, so the mine pumps slurry ice underground to cool the air. It's the deepest human destination in the world. In fact, the deepest half marathon took place 2.5 miles underground in 2017. 
at a temperature of 104 degrees, in 80% relative humidity, and with an atmospheric pressure of 1.4, similar to what a diver feels 16 feet below sea level. 36,070 feet down is the bottom of the deepest part of the ocean, the Marianas Trench, which is deeper than flipping Mount Everest upside down. The atmospheric pressure here is 1,086 bars, which feels like a hundred elephants standing on your head. The temperature in the Marianas Trench is a bitterly cold 33 degrees Fahrenheit, but scoot on over to a hydrothermal vent, and the water temp shoots up to a steaming 572 degrees. In 2012, film director James Cameron became the first person to travel solo to the deepest part of the trench, and yet humans have dug much deeper than the Marianas Trench. Over the course of 24 years, the Soviet Union attempted to dig through the Earth's crust, and they made it, to 7.5 miles, with the Kola Superdeep borehole. That's deeper than a commercial airliner flies high in the sky. The temperature at the bottom reached 356 degrees Fahrenheit, melting the drill so it couldn't operate anymore. Their hole, which was only 9 inches wide, made it only a third of the way through the Earth's crust. If you dropped a quarter down the shaft, it would take about 50 seconds before it hit the bottom. But as deep as this is, so far, humans have only made it down to 0.1% through the Earth. But we're pushing on. 150 miles down is the upper part of the mantle, about 1,800 miles thick. It makes up 84% of the Earth's volume. The mantle is predominantly solid, but on geological timescales, it behaves as a viscous fluid, with the consistency of caramel. While humans have not dug down this far yet, scientists have used technologies such as seismic waves to reverse engineer a partial picture of Earth's interior, like a doctor using an ultrasound to image a fetus in the womb, and what they've discovered are treasures. Inside the Earth's mantle is the only place diamonds form naturally. Using seismic waves, Scientists discovered that there may be far more diamonds in the mantle than previously thought, as many as a quadrillion tons. These glittering jewels are made from carbon deposits, which can only form with temperatures of around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and a pressure around 50,000 times that of the atmospheric pressure at Earth's surface. Some stones form in a matter of days, while others take millions of years. Then they're blasted up to the surface by volcanoes, not only might there be quadrillions more diamonds hiding in the mantle than previously thought, there's also something incredible hiding inside of some of those diamonds. The transition zone between the upper and lower mantle is an area between 255 and 410 miles down. In 2018, scientists found diamonds from the transition zone with a high pressure form of ice inside them. This means that the transition zone may hold a large quantity of water, possibly even oceans, these underground oceans could contain several times the amount of water of Earth's above-ground oceans. At the bottom of the mantle, 1,800 miles down, it's a sizzling 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, more than halfway to the Earth's core, we find mantle blobs. Officially large, low shear velocity provinces, there's one beneath Africa and the other beneath the Pacific Ocean. Each is the size of a continent. They're so tall that if they sat on the Earth's surface, the International Space Station would need to navigate around them. Mantle blobs are thought to be the birthplace of rising columns of hot rock called mantle plumes that reach the Earth's surface and form supervolcanoes. Over the course of billions of years, the blobs gather together and break apart, much like the continents above them. We've arrived at the outer core of the Earth, the only liquid layer. And the reason it's liquid is because it's really, really hot. 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At about 3,000 miles down, we finally arrive at the inner core, a ball of solid iron so hot it glows with a white light. The temperature in the inner core is about 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the outer layer of the sun. The pressure here is nearly 3.6 million atmospheres more than sea level. It's this incredible pressure that makes the inner core solid, despite its heat. The inner core also has an unusual feature. While the Earth spins on its axis about once every 24 hours, the inner core is a moon-sized ball of iron floating within an ocean of molten metal, which means it is free to turn independently, a phenomenon known as super-rotation. Inside the core, east meets west, north meets south, and up meets down. Mass is equal in all directions. Every direction is up. Because there's nothing under us, we are as weightless as if we are in outer space, and yet the literal weight of the entire world is pressing down on us. Once we reach the surface of the other side of the Earth, 
most likely popping up in the middle of the ocean, our journey will have taken us a total of about 8,000 miles. But what if we took another trip through a whale's digestive system? You'll have to watch another Posit video to experience that. At Posit, we spend many hours creating our videos, including making our own illustrations. We hunt down the facts from trusted sources and make our own calculations, such as estimating just how loud the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was. We need your support to continue our channel, so please press that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, we've got limited edition t-shirts. This month's t-shirt is the Fish of the Marianas Trench, inspired by this video. You can go to the link in the description to purchase. Thanks so much for watching.